Okay, in this video we're checking out the uh, Newbie Drone Unicorn motors, and these are a little bit bigger than the gold motors that I have been flying um, recently. I had these for a little while here, and then B-Brain Light. This is also the same setup. B-Brain Light with the Unicorn motors here on the right. The size difference is a 6 by 15 millimeter motor for the gold motor. And you can see that it sits flush here on the uh, frame, the top of the motor, whereas the Unicorn motor it's a little bit higher up, that's because it's a little bit bigger. It's also a 6mm motor, but it's a 6 by 17 millimeter, so it's a little bit, it's like 2 millimeters taller. And that's, I think, where it gets a little bit more of its speed and power. KV difference as well between the two. The gold motors are 19,700 KV, and the unicorn motors are 25,500 KV. So as you can see here, I'm using a two-bladed prop on the unicorn motors versus a four-bladed prop on the gold motors and that's because when you use the four blader prop on the unicorn motors they get extremely hot um yeah i think obviously because of the higher kv and the load um and also we, uh, the flight time is pretty bad um on the four blader prop i got like 30 seconds it can drain a battery extremely quickly um so yeah you get more power and more speed out of the unicorn motors versus the gold motors uh, but the battery life is still shorter, uh, even with the two-bladed prop here. Um, I can get on these four-bladed props and the gold motors. I can tip a uh, typical flying, you know, not going totally crazy. You know, a good solid four, four and a half minutes on this setup here. And this is going to be better for tighter spaces with a lot of turns, smaller spaces, uh, smaller tracks. The unicorn motors are much faster you're, you're on in terms of straightaways, like straight line speed is much faster than the gold motors. But it struggles in turns, so obviously with a two-bladed prop you're going to get more speed, but it's not going to grip as well in the turns, so it takes longer and more throttle to make your turns, and it, it uh, it's a lot harder. And so I wouldn't recommend these motors on tighter tracks, um, smaller tracks. This will be better on your bigger tracks with a lot of straightaways and not necessarily a lot of hairpin turns. So, you know, it's like what tool do you want to choose for what kind of track you're going to fly and um, in your flying style. So, yeah, I'll show you flight footage at the end of this here outside. It's way too fast for indoors. I'll show you a little bit of indoor footage as well, but mostly when I'm flying this indoors, I'm just crashing a lot because it's just so hard to... It builds up speed very, very quickly and it doesn't turn very easily compared to the gold motors so not really recommended for small indoor spaces better for larger like warehouses with like a lot of straightaways this is going to really pick up speed and much faster than the gold motors but you know it's it's this is like you know i think a motor specific for you know specialty tracks or certain type of uses or if you happen to fly like to fly that way now obviously you know um these are cut down props here these are basically the same these are the, I guess they are called, are called the E-Sheen four-bladed props. I just cut off two of the blades so that I can get that faster speed and obviously to reduce the heat on the motor and the stress on the motor. Um, there is obviously the Venom props from Newbie Drone. I don't have those yet. I'm waiting for those to come back in stock. Um, I will have another video later once I get those if you guys are curious. I don't know I, I, I don't know what the difference is between this setup here and the Venom props. They, the Venom props do look like they're meatier. So they might have better grip than these here in the two-bladed setups. So that's my suspicion. They're probably a little bit heavier. I don't know that for sure. Um, but I have seen some people fly the unicorn motors with the Venom prop and are able to do more acro maneuvers with that one versus I wasn't really able to do it with this one here. I guess this, this, this prop is just too, the blade is too narrow. So it wasn't that grippy in, in terms of dives and that kind of thing. So I didn't really try and uh, attempt that with this particular prop on here. But this is really good for straightaway, uh, straight line speed. So that's pretty much it. I mean, other than that, these these are identical setups. Um, I did just fly these both just stock tunes out of the box on the B-Brain lights on these. And yeah, I'll just show you a little bit of indoor footage and outdoor footage of this guy. And this guy's a rocket ship outdoors. It's uh, way by, by far the fastest of these uh, six millimeter whoops that I have. In the setup and but only in straight line speed setups like if you're just going a straight line it you it builds up speed very quickly and is extremely fast compared to any of the uh 
smaller 6x15 millimeter gold motors or anything like that. So anyway, uh, here's some flight footage and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.